Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Green Valley Parkinson Support Group exercise class. And if you're joining us online on YouTube, welcome. You're going to need a straight back chair without arms and a pair of light hand weights. Tennis ball, a larger ball and some water and a good attitude, but you're already here, so I know you have that. We're gonna start in a seated position, and then we'll stand working on some balance and stretching, and then we come back into the chair. It's about a 45 minute class. So have a seat, and we'll get started. Toward the front of the chair. <clears throat> With your feet flat on the floor, before we get hand weights, let's make sure that we have some room. You know, when, Marcia, you yeah okay so make sure that you're not going to knock anything over or hit anyone so your feet are flat on the floor and you've got some space behind you take a deep breath our arms raised overhead and let it out through the mouth again exhale the hands placed on your thighs, drop the chin to the chest, and look up and stretch. Again, chin to the chest, and stretch. This is a neutral position. You're going to tilt the head, and then to the other side. Again, drop it in a nice, slow, smooth circle. Change the direction. And again, let it hang forward. Bring it back to that neutral position. Turn to the side, looking over your shoulder. And then looking over the other shoulder. Good. Side to side. And back to the neutral position. Nice. Roll the shoulders. So consider this just some warm up. Good. Change direction. Big circles. Perfect. And shoulder shrugs up and down. Excellent. All right. This is the moment of truth. The arms extend and the shoulders relax. Move your fingers. And then extend those fingers out, stretching, tapping each finger to the thumb. Did he hit you? Oh, no. <laughs> and scratch. Yeah. Wiggle those fingers. Good. And then make a tight fist. And then a relaxed hand and a circle. One, two, two three, three, four, five. five. Change it up. Five, five four, three, two. two. One, they end here with the shoulders relaxed for some big arm circles. Please don't hit anyone. Circle, good. And reverse that circle. One more time around, we're gonna keep the arms reaching for the ceiling. It's one, one and two. Count with and us at home. Three, three and four and one more five, perfect and the arms to the side again a flexed hand bring it in and one, out two, two three four five and i come to rest here at least one does it's a bent elbow and a good stretch to the side and then to the other side looking forward but stretching overhead the arms now cross the hands maybe on your shoulders as you twist, and to the other side, good, and center. The hands rest on the chair, shift the weight to one side, the opposite hip is up, and up, count with me, two, two. thank you, and, and three, and, and four, and, and one more, five, and, and take it into a march. Well, let's just do this for 45 minutes. <laughs> Great job. All right. You come to rest in that same starting position. Make sure that you have some room between your back and the back of the chair. And we'll start with a bicep curl. 
So place them, fingers up, the elbows tucked. Looking forward, we're gonna do the curl to the shoulder. It's one. one. There you go. Two. Two. <laughs> Three. Three. Use your outdoor Four. voice. Five. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. ten. And let them rest. Then between those, we stretch a little, don't we? <laughs> yeah. Good. Again, looking forward, lift and curl. One, One two, two, three, four. four. Nice, Mark. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. Keep them, dropping those weighted arms to the outside of the chair leg. Rotating the arms and shoulders forward and then pulling them back. Good. And then again, they're here. Lift one, tuck the elbow for a side stretch. Try to find the floor, Bob's found it, good. Come up, take it to the other side and stretch. Perfect, and now we're gonna put both of them on the floor. We're gonna bring our feet from this nice position to a closed position. The feet and the knees, a little adjustment in the chair. Always keep that space behind you as you cross your arms. Chin up and the legs are out. And the feet up and it's flex point. Two, three, four, five, five good. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. Keep them in a flex position. The heels are together and the toes are out One, and in for five. Two, three, four. Reverse five, it. Heels five, out. Two, good, three, four, five, and there. So separate them, sitting tall, looking forward, extend them out again. And we're gonna do some leg scissors. So it's out and cross. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and flutters. Two, three, four, five. Six, Six, good, seven, eight, nine, ten, and down. Are you warming up? <laughs> All right, good. Uncross, separating the feet back into this position. One weight, both hands on it, and we're gonna do an overhead extension. So sit tall, the arms are straight overhead, the shoulders relaxed, the weight to the back. And it's up, down, two, two good, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take a break and stretch and breathe. Yeah. And again, focus as you wrap those fingers around and back of the head. And it's one, one two, two, three, four, five, six, six good, seven, eight, nine, ten. And again, we place it on the floor with its friend. Forward in the chair, a little bit more of the leg off of the seat as you extend one leg, sliding the foot on the floor. Yeah, trying to keep that contact. As you have a straight leg, the hands cradling that knee. Sit tall as you reach forward. So slide down, and when you can't go any further, drop into the stretch and breathe. And come up. Good, that leg in, and the other one, same thing. Reaching forward with a flat back, dropping into the stretch. Good, and up. We have the starting position, shoulders, hips, knees, and heels in line. Again, that first leg out. Make sure you have plenty of room. Fingers spread apart. We're gonna twist, reaching for that extended foot with the opposite hand, reaching down. See if you can get close. The other arm is in the air, reaching for the ceiling. Good job. And come up. Same side, same arm as leg. Your focus is on the foot. Good job. And up. Drop the arms, bring the leg in, and it's the same thing on this side. So it's a twist first, opposite arm to foot. Good, you got it. 
and then same side. And there. So we come back to the starting position where we need both weights again. <clears throat> We're gonna do overheads and you always wanna work within your range of motion and flexibility and strength. So you wanna push yourselves a little bit. If you're feeling <coughs> some kind of you know, pain or tension, then it's not worth it. So put it down and maybe it's the weight that's bothering you or maybe it's the, the position. So try it out. Your fingers are wrapped. These are right here. Focus forward as you raise them up. It's one, one two, two, good, three, four, four. job. Ten. Ten. Yes, smart. Yes. So again, stretch it out, breathe, take a deep breath. That's your reward. Again, sit tall. Second set, raise them. One, One two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do I hear a third set? No. no. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> so we're going to take this in a wide position now of our third lower body position. So you want to open up at the hip and um, you want to try and keep your knees in line with your feet. So if your knees buckle in, bring your feet in as well. So find what works for you, sitting tall, fingers spread apart. This hand's going to go on the inside for support. This one straight up. Twist and reach for the ceiling, looking up at your fingertips. This one is trying to find the floor somewhere. Good. And then slowly return to this position. As you place this one on the inside, this one straight up. Turn and reach up. Stretch. Oh, good job, Adrian. Yes. And there. The arms drop. The feet pivot on the heel, then the ball of the foot and the heel into what we call a closed position. Tall in the chair, the arms crossed, flat back. As you transfer some weight over your thighs, open the knees and the weight now placed on the outside of the foot. A very different stretch. And good, come up nice, Jane. Again, weight transfers and stretch it out. Perfect, and there. So we're gonna place our feet back in this position again, dropping the arms to the side. And if you need to hold on, then use the chair legs, otherwise they're here. But think of your posture looking forward, lifting one knee up as a flex foot, extending that leg, point it, flex it. Two, Two three, four, four, shout it out. Five, yeah. six, seven, Eight, nice, nine, nine ten. ten. When you put it down, make sure it's wide so you just shift your weight. The other one is up and one, out. Two, three, three working your four, hip, your five, knees, and your six, ankle. Seven, seven eight, nine, nine ten. ten. And there. So take that deep breath again. Exhale. We're going to do some lunging. Please, oh, please make sure you don't hit anyone, <laughs> all right? So sitting tall, bringing one leg forward. It's a, a seated lunge, so there's a bend in this knee. You're gonna reach forward from the hip. It's a flat back, not looking at me, but looking down at the floor. And the arms, they're out. Fingers spread apart. Bring it back to this position. So two more to the front, good. And one more there. Now slide that foot to the side, open the hip. The arms are the same, but you wanna look. And then you bring everything back. Slide it across, look, nice job. Bring it back, give me one more. <laughs> Super. <laughs> and then again to the front, flex foot, the toes are up. Flat back, the arms reaching behind you, palms up, nice, and stretch it out. Good, slide that heel on the floor. The other side, forward, looking down at the floor, sitting tall, open. It's a big lunge with some energy, there. 
Slide that to the side. You're going to look out the window. Bring it back. And again, slide it. And there. Three to the front, toes up, flat back. And stretch. Oh, nice, Mary. Good. Did it feel good? You've been gone forever. Welcome home. <laughs> so taking this position, we turn to the side. We still have our feet about hip width apart, but we have the front chair leg in between them. And if this is your first time, now you see what we don't want chair arms on the chairs. The arm to the back holds the frame, allowing the back leg to stretch from hip to toe. The front arm reaching from shoulder to fingertips. Grab the imaginary rope. Your hand now becomes a fist. Bring the arm and the leg in round the back and the chin tucked. You're in a ball. Stretch out again, reaching a little bit farther this time. Fingers stretched, curl up. One more. Again, lengthen the spine. Use your hands, good. Grab it, curl in. And sit tall, nice job. Let's see how they do. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> So we swivel around and we still keep our feet in that good position for balance. Inside hand <coughs> holds the frame. The outside arm reaches forward. The fingers are spread apart. The back leg extends. Grab a rope, Conrad, and pull it in. Round your back and tuck your chin. Stretch it out again. Farther this time. Good, Jim. Curl up. Give me one more. Stretch it out. Nice, Marcia. Grab it. Pull it in. Yeah. And sit tall. That is such a good stretch. It works your spine in a way that you wouldn't normally do. So we're now facing forward. Our hands braced on the chair. We're going to use our own body weight. So make sure your feet are wide. This is upper body strength. So hands are braced here, a little forward with the weight. Lift yourself off that seat if you can. One, it's up, down, two, two good, three, nice, four, five, six, seven, eight, stop, nine, ten. You notice I don't do ten. All right. Bring your feet and your knees together a little forward in the seat because we're gonna have to lean back. So again, hold on. You lean back, bring the knees to the chest and down. It's up. One, it's two, two three, three, four, four yeah, five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, eight nine, ten. ten. Catch your breath. I know you're warmed up. Extend those legs mm. out, one on top of the other. And you're high on those sit bones. So, if you're sitting here and you're too comfortable, that's not good. <laughs> so you want to lengthen the spine. Think of getting rid of a lot of wrinkles in your shirt. So grow an inch or two taller. The arms extend from the shoulder, the hands together, reaching forward. First drop down and toe touch and up. Good. Two. two. Work in that waistline. Three. Three. Waist management. Four. Four. One more, five. five, and there. So place the other one on top, tall in the chair, reach and drop. Two. two, yes, three, three. Four. four, nice job, five. five, and there. So uncross, bring it back to a starting position, plenty of room behind you, the arms extended, some more toe touches and they're in the air so it's one, one and, and yes two, two and three and four and yes five, five good job and six and, and seven and eight and nine wow and ten and wait till your costumes come <laughs> All right, so sit tall. The arms are out. You're tall in the chair. Relax the shoulders and relax your hands. Yeah. And then pull them back and flex. Those fingers Two, pulled apart. Thank you. Three. three four. four. One more. Five. five. Drop one, it and lift it. Two. Three. 
four, five. And then open it up slowly. It's kind of a claw at first and then there. Close and open. Two, two three, three, four, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, eight nine, nine, ten. And then palms up, shoulders relaxed, palms down. Try to keep them symmetrical. Good. One up, one down. Flip it and flip it. Flip it both up. And the elbows tuck to the ribs. Extending the arms, pinching the shoulder blades. Yeah, hold a pencil between them. Pen? Something. <laughs> and relax. Good. One is out from the shoulder, palms up again. And you're going to go underneath with the other hand and gently pull the fingers down, stretching your hand. And then fingers up, pull them back. Good. And then the other one. Think of your posture as well as you're sitting in that chair. Good. And then the praying hands, the elbows lifted. Push one side and then the other. Good. Just the hands move. And then fingers apart and together and open like a starfish. Stretch Three, it out. Four. four thank you. Five. five. All right. Shake six. it out. They're out here. Palms of your hands facing each other. Sitting tall in the chair. Smiles are optional. All right. You're going to bend an elbow, placing that hand on your chest. But looking over here at this one, slide that hand across your chest and down this big sleeve that both arms can fit in, trying to match your hand. Yes. Pull it out and unfold. And then the other one placed on the chest. Look over at the other hand as you slide it down. Good, Ginger. Yes, pull it out and open it up. And they're here. You're going to bring these together, the forearms, the hands, and pull back. Good. And then Two. over there. And then bend. One is going to drop. Lift it, and then the other one's going to drop. Good job. Shake it out. So we're done. Well, we're not done. We're done with those. <laughs> Reach down, please, and grab those weights. Um, we've done a lot of upper body, so now we're going to work on lower body strengthening. So we're going to take these, and Don's ready. He's going to put them here with an open hand. Tall again in the chair, looking forward. Lift a knee. Extend that leg, bend it, place it down, shift to the other side. It's up, out, out in, in, down, two, two out. And the in, counting is down, important. Up, out, as I forget. In, in, down, three, <laughs> three extend, out, in, bend, down, down up, out, out in, down, down four, out, straight, out, bend, in, down. down. Good. Out, up, out, out. You've got in, it. I think down, he's trying to kick five. Five. Out. <laughs> and up, out, in, down, straight Six. out. One, eyes off the floor, and you're a little more forward than you probably are used to for leg lifts. Ten of them relax the foot. So it's up, two, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And get ready, nine, flex that foot. Ten, ten one, up, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there, straight out. Tall in the chair. Up, One, down. Two, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now flex ten. the foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're almost there. Nine. Ten. Great job. All right, we're done with these. So please place them on the floor, cross underneath your chair, and no weight, but a tennis ball. And we use this to warm up our hands and our feet and work on some positioning. Our balance begins at the bottom of your feet. So if you have those shoes that socks for that man, <laughs> take off your shoes and stocking feet or bare feet, you're going to feel it more. And then we're going to stretch the fingers, working that ball in between them. 
And again, try to be mindful of how you're sitting in that chair. Your posture helps with balance and helps with breathing. So we're gonna take it and place it in a soft hand. And we're just gonna roll it like a, you don't wanna hold on to it, but yeah, just roll it around. And then the other one, roll it back and forth. Good. And then both arms extend out from the shoulder and the hands are close together as you just roll it from one to the other. And they're out where you can see them. So straight arms, just don't lock the elbows. And then challenge that by closing your eyes. Good. And open your eyes, placing that ball on the floor with a foot on top of it, either with a shoe or not. Good job. Cute socks. So push down on the ball as you roll your foot back and forth. Jane's got those fancy shoes. <laughs> those are nice. All right, barefoot over here. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna try the other foot. Don't just roll it, but push down on it, stimulating the bottom of your feet for balance. Good, yes. All right, so that's a little exercise that everyone can do at home, a tennis ball or two. So we're done, please pick it up and Put it away somewhere safe that's not gonna roll up. Good job, you got the shoes on. So we're back into the chair with our feet still wide for balance, <coughs> shoulders, hips, knees, and slightly behind the knees, engaging those lower abdominals, pressing into the chair. The hands may be on your hip bones. Arch the back, you've got that space now between your back and your chair back, and then press into it. Yes, arch your back shoulder blades still touching the back of the chair again one more time good and then keep that engaged keep those muscles pushing against your spine and against the back of the chair as you extend the legs and the feet are off the floor draw a one, circle two, two three four five, five the other way five, five four, four three two, two one, one. And again, they come to the floor, get pulled back and away from the chair back, shifting your weight, rocking yourself forward. Way out to the front, good. Again, keep your feet wide, your feet flat on the floor. The arms are crossed, we're gonna work abdominal muscles. So lean back, come close to the chair, but don't touch it. And then all the way up, good. Lean back two. two. Three. Sitting up. tall. Good. Four. Four. Don't hold your breath. Breathe throughout. Five. five. Just five more. Six. Six. One. Seven. <laughs> Seven. Good job. Eight. 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 Hold on ten. Nine. Nine. Now she tells us. Go back and hold. One, two, three, four, five, six. rest as you bring some weight forward reaching from the hip it's a flat back you're looking down at your reflection as you lift one heel then the other heel dropping them down up up down down up up down down up up one more time up up down chest heels up down up down up down. We're in a sit to stand position. Our feet are wide. This is nose over toes. We're going to come out of the chair and all the way up, transferring the weight to the ball of the foot. Beautiful job. Bend the weight now placed in the heel back into the chair and back to this position, shifting your weight forward and up. Beautiful. And back into it. Make sure that you're looking forward as you do all of this so that your balance is not compromised. So you wanna, do we have two more? Yes. Okay. <laughs> it's like you weren't counting, you better be counting. <laughs> all right, <laughs> one more. Nose over toes, ta-da, beautiful. And come back into the chair and back to this 
upright position. The fingers spread apart. They're resting on the neck and the elbows stretched. It's a warm up for a seated crunch. So you want to twist, looking wall to wall, one more time, and then add that knee to elbow. Up and up. Good. Two and lift. Three and up. Four. One more time. Five. Great job. We'll ease into it. It's Monday. <laughs> we need the large ball, and we're going to do some stretching. So again, make sure that your feet are flat on the floor, ball of the foot and the heel, and they're about hip width apart. You've got some space behind you. Hold the ball. Should have worn this up. And place it on your chest. The elbows dropped and relaxed, extending the arms forward, reaching with a flat back, reaching from the hip out. So the arms don't drop, but they reach out from the shoulder. Beautiful. Now place your head in between the arms and hold. Two, three, three four, four, five. five. Lift just the head. Come up slowly. The arms still reaching forward. Tuck the chin to the chest. Pull away from the spine and reach out with those arms. And then lengthen the spine as you sit tall, extending arms overhead. Lean back, the feet never leave the floor. Good job. And come up. Right there is that starting position. Track the ball as you twist the upper body. Everything moves as one unit. And hold two, three, four, Five. Nice, Lord. Bring it back to center and take it to the other side as far as you can go and hold. Two, Two three, four, five. And there. Placing the ball on the chest. The elbows drop to the side. Squeeze. As hard as you can. Or replace it. Jane will. <laughs> and relax. Place the ball on the inside thigh. And if you're too far back into the chair, your option is the knee. And it's not quite the same. So you want to be forward in the chair. A lot of that leg off of the seat. The ball on the inner thigh area. The hands are on top. And the feet now are together. So feet and knees together. Squeeze hard. Good, and relax one more time. Squeeze hard. Boom. <laughs> Great job. And relax. We're not going to use the ball anymore, so if you would just put it somewhere where it's not going to become a trip hazard, we're going to separate our feet and we're going to get out of the chair. We're going to do some heel lifts and some toe lifts, so we get to practice that nose over toes up. Yeah. Don't be in a hurry. Standing about arm's distance from the back of your chair. Um, your feet, again, in that same wide position. Use the back if you need it. If you don't, those arms are dropped to the side of your leg. Yeah. Focus is off the floor. Lift them up. One, down. Two. two thank you. Three. three four. What? Five, five. Oh, yeah. Okay. Six. Good. Seven. seven eight. Nine, ten. ten. Come straight down, shifting the weight to the heel. Toes up, One, down. Lift two, up high. Three. Good. Four. Five. Six. six wow. Seven. Eight. Very nice. Nine, nine ten. ten. Shake it out. We're going to do some kicks to the back. So who's behind you? Do you like them? <laughs> of course you like them. <laughs> so we're going to kick, not straight leg lifts, but bend the knee, alternating sides. So it's one, one and, and two, two and, and good, three. three. Eyes off the and floor. You want to look four forward. And five and six and seven and eight and nine. And last one. Great job. We're going to go to the side of the chair.
here, it doesn't matter which side, um, whichever one you prefer. Again, your feet are wide. Your body, though, it's in line with the frame so that we can shift this weight to the inside leg and the hand can hold or just be placed there. Knee lift. So we start with the outside knee up, out in. So it's one. And. Thank you. Two. two and. and. Good. Three. And. and four. quick so we're going to be at that side where we were right beside your chair your body is in line with the frame and again the weight is no longer in the center but it's placed on that inside leg the hand is here notice I'm not looking down I'm looking out as you slide this forward into what we call a split step they're staggered I could take this and swing it for and it won't hit this so it's just a step forward your weight is in the middle because you can lift your heels. That's right. Perfect. Hand on the chair, an outside arm. Both if you feel comfortable. Open. Am I gonna hit you? No. <laughs> and there. Beautiful. One more. Good. And down. Placing that hand on the chair, the weight on the inside leg, but it's back here now. Toes up. We haven't done anything but shift a little weight to the back. Toes up. Standing leg, don't lock it. Outside arm, keep the hand on the chair as you take this to the side. Bring it back to center. You're not gonna follow it because you wanna look forward for balance. Good. And there, super. Place it back on the floor, shift your weight a little forward, drop your arms, knowing the chair is right there if you need it, only if you need it. Turn your head to look toward the chair, but over your shoulder. Beautiful. Bring the focus back to center and turn away from the chair and over that shoulder. And center, great job to the other side. So again, we're standing to the side, our weight is on the inside leg, hand is here. We're just gonna take a split step. So Marcia, that's just a step forward with that outside leg, yeah. And our weight is in the middle, we know that, right? And the hand is on the chair if you need it. If you don't, extend both. If you're gonna keep it there, it's just there. You're gonna open. And bring it center. Good. And open. And center. And last time. Good job. And down. Shifting the weight to the back. It now just rests on the heel. Hand here. There. Take it to the side. Focusing on, well, I'm looking at the exit sign down there. So keep it there. Good and then bring it down. Let's try a different one. Keep your hand on the chair, slide this over into what we call a semi-tandem. They're in line, but there's plenty of space. So I'm looking at Bob, I only see his left foot because they're perfectly lined up. Make sure that there's this much room between those heel and toe. So you're in the middle, your hand is on the chair. Good, and just there. And if you feel safe, you can turn a little bit. Just the head, turn, super. And bring the focus back to center and separate your feet. Um, these are some real easy things to practice balance. The best place I think is, well, maybe in the kitchen. Yeah, where you've got a kitchen counter or a table or an island and a counter. But, uh, and the floor is usually um, free of carpet. So um, I don't, I can't see, is, do we have a clear? No. Half of it. Half, half, what do you think? 
Yeah. Okay, we're going to do a little cardio, but before we do, just look over your chair. If you see anything besides what you put on the chair that's poking out that might trip someone as they walk by your chair, um, a, a jacket that's draping down, just make sure that it's not. So we're going to do a little cardio, and it's, um, I guess it's the fat. It's the real fat one. If you don't want to stand, you can sit, but you have to keep moving. Talking does not count, no. <laughs> Talking fast doesn't even count. No. <laughs> Rats. Please be safe. overhead, the shoulders relaxed, reach forward with a flat back, dropping the arms between the feet, extending, and again lifting up, two, two up, up, good, three, up, four, up, five, one more, six, up, good, seven, up, eight, up, Nine, Nine, up, ten, ten up. And there. Great job. We're ready for the cool down. I love it when I hear that. <laughs> yes. <coughs> Let it out slowly through the mouth. Inhale. Exhale. One more. And let it out. 
bow the head and lift it up, looking, relaxing the jaw and center it to the side and to the other side. Again, drop the chin to the chest and slowly circle the head. The other way. Chin to the chest. Raise it and look up and stretch. And look down. And now focus forward. The shoulders bring them both forward. And lift them up. Pull them back, pinching your shoulder blades together and down. And a big circle. You should be a lot more flexible. Yeah. They're resting, they come in and touch and open, and touch and open, one more, touch and open, reach in a little and unfold their soft hands, and then turn that doorknob, nice, good, give yourself a big squeeze, tuck the chin to the chest, and then open wide, placing the other arm on top, give yourself a hug, well, we end the class saying A-E-I-O-U. We use that as a facial and voice exercise, so join us. A-E-I-O-U. One more time. A-E-I-O-U. <laughs> Go out and have a great day. Um, be happy and healthy and safe. And above all, please be kind to each other. Thank you for being here. Thank you.